Every year in the IFSC World Cups we see unique crazy movements and this year was no different. We had face out dinos, we had paddling on holds without texture and we had the infamous pirouette move that we saw in several competitions. However, there is one move that was showcased more than any other move in the book and that is the Laj Dino. First, let me explain what it is. A lache dino is a move where you swing from your arms, generating momentum using your lower body, and then use that energy to move quite far horizontally. I'll explain a bit later how they work technically, but first we have to establish just how important this move is to know. I took the opportunity to check how often this move was in the competitions, and to be fully honest with you guys, it actually surprised me quite a lot. The move occurs in around half of all the rounds, which means that this move is basically the move you need to know if you want to be a competitive climber. Luckily, all the athletes, such as Yannick Floe here, seems to love this move. Don't believe me? Well, let me tune up the audio from the recent competitions. Now that we've established that both competitors and setters love this move alike, it's time to set one ourselves and see what the fuss is about. But you know what else climbers really love? Today's sponsor, Lattice Training. Oh! Most of you know about Lattice Training already, since they produce some of the strongest fingers in the entire climbing industry, but what they also produce are tools used for training Herculean forearm strength. That's right, I'm talking about the heavy roller. This thing is an absolute beast when it comes to sloper strength. I've been doing this exercise where I lift the heavy roller up and then I let it slowly slide down from my hand. This mimics the feeling of sliding down on a sloper really, really well, which actually makes progressive training on slopers possible. Now, if getting the most humongous climbing guns isn't your goal, that's totally fine, but here's another reason you ought to get it. <sighs> You see, for the first three years of my climbing, I struggled a lot with wrist pain. And I would basically tape my wrists to oblivion to be able to even climb on slopers. What made me finally get rid of this pain was to use a tool very similar to the heavy roller, but albeit a very much more budget version of it. I really wish I would have had one of these back in the day. And if you want to build sloper stability so you can climb on stuff like the Big Island, well, this is the tool you're gonna get. <sighs> Lattice is now giving away five of these for free, as well as some other fun surprises. And all you have to do is enter in the description down below. So thank you Lattice very much for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about the Lage Dino. Uh, the goal for this session is actually to try and make a slight improvement or slight variation of the move, where I want the climber to be forced to go uh, with one arm. So you're starting off of two arms, like the general lache dino is from two arms and then you swing over. The reason you all often do that is because with two arms you obviously have more control, but at a certain level if you're holding a proper jug, like a really big jug, it doesn't really matter so much if you have two arms or one arm, if you're strong enough. And so with one arm you can actually generate a different type of momentum that lets you land at a position that's uh, a lot more controlled, so you can make the landing zone more difficult using just one arm to swing from. And that's the goal for this setting session. So we're making the Lachey Dino, but slightly different and hopefully inventing a, maybe not a new move, but a new move for my setting. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it and get setting. So whenever I set these kind of moves, I almost always start with the landing zone because I think the landing zone kind of dictates how the move will be made. For instance, right now, since I want the, uh, the move to be with one arm, I've set this really far to the right. So if you try and go from two arms, you should just be like in the wrong direction of the stop on this press. And the goal is to have it so that you're swinging using just your one arm out here well, this is a bit excessive, but you see what I mean? So you can go back and land straight in here. No idea if it'll work. It's a very complex move that I haven't really set before. Maybe? We'll try. It's not quite the move I'm looking for, so I think I'm gonna try and find another box there. Yeah, this should do better. Okay, there's something there. Like this is just uh, creating the basis of the movement. I think I'm gonna move the landing system further into the left, but I do think the trajectory should be quite good soon. Oh. 
Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, that's probably the easiest. The downside to this, like going from the undercling, is that you have only one trajectory you can go, which is like straight into the wall, but it's also easier to generate from it. So what's missing right now is a way to make the left-handed version generate more momentum. It's hard to tell because we've been climbing for 12 hours today. So I'm a little bit fatigued in this like swinging from one arm type move. It's tearing off so heavily. That's a proper flapper. After uh, my injury, I've realized I don't really have the skin or the energy to try the left-handed version of just swinging from one arm. And I think when you're setting these type of moves, it's good to at least be able to like make sure that your idea is gonna be somewhat accurate. And since I don't have the energy to do it, I'm gonna downscale it to a regular Lachey Dino. So we're still setting the favorite move from the IFSC, but like obviously it's not the same and it's gonna be a lot easier, but I'm still trying to make like something that's quite interesting. So uh, we're still going into this press position and then I'm gonna make a delicate top uh, to hopefully like make the boulder pop and make it interesting. But let's try the, the proper Lachey Dino now. Gotta be there. Well, maybe that's perfect now, but it's so hard to tell because I'm just so shredded, so tired. I'll give a few more attempts at the Leche and I guess try and do the entire climb. But I don't think this is a finished product until we've seen some climbers on it and I'll save that for tomorrow. But yeah, a couple more goes first. Actually, but we will have the judges tomorrow. Let us know if it's a good problem or not. But for today, I'm gonna go to bed, crash, and sleep on this problem and think about it for tomorrow. Okay, second day, and now we have the local strong boy of Lulio, Mr. Robin Rosenblad. Da -da -da -da. Hello, that's me, local strong boy. This guy, <laughs> if you've seen him on Eric's channel, can do Iron Cross without training for it, and uh, basically has the strength of a godlike creature. But I'm not sure he can do Lassay Dinos. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a challenge. Nice. All right, let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Okay. Definitely, yeah, definitely a good first burn. Yeah, I think you can extend the swing a little bit. Yeah. So you go slightly further back and maybe try to straighten your arms just a little bit more. Because now you're kind of bent still, which yeah. means that you're losing a bit of the momentum. But yeah, great start. And you're going to do that for sure. Come here. Oh, nice. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, <laughs> God damn. Power. Yeah, too much speed. Yeah. Too, too little precision. Oh. <laughs> Yes! So good, so yeah. good! No. Oh. So the trick with this move in particular is that because you don't really have like 
a landing zone, something to pull on, uh, and then like work with the momentum. You really have to get the weight really close to the wall. So you're basically like licking the wall and then start applying the pressure. But if you go just a little bit out first, there's like not really any possibility to push your weight back in. But yeah, good progression, man. Come on. Yes, yeah! Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Oh, I love to see that. The progression is like this close to sticking it. That's gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna work for sure. <laughs> what? The, the easiest is to go like right hand around here somewhere yeah. and then right foot like higher up. Yeah. And then go up. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then step up. Yes. Ooh. Come here. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Find it, find it. Yes, so good. Yeah, go. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Success! Yeah, come on. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, come on. Find it, find it. What? <laughs> I hope you could see that. He just bugged physics. Like that was that was that <laughs> looks so weird. Like because your strength on this crimp is so disproportional to the move. That everything, I mean, you just missed everything, and then, <laughs> and then you kind of just stuck to the wall for a second, and then it was just, I guess, a bit too extreme. Yeah, because the, I, I got the crimp really good. Yeah, but I started slipping. Yeah, okay, because okay. I, I think it was because I started rotating. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> so I was in desperation trying to find the toe. Get the toe in. Yeah, too far. <laughs> so much fun to see. It's super cool. I mean, that I love that move. That's so cool. Yes, oh, so solid. Come on, come on, come on, keep it. Yes, come on. Oh, nice, come on. Oh, so strong, dude. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you, nice. get, you get a crimp, and you're like, oh, nice, it's a jug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we have basically the moves to figure out for you, right? Yeah. Like, this should work. Yep. So, uh, some red point attempts? Yeah, sure. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> some lure. <laughs> Preparing it for our athlete. He's gonna do it next go, but hopefully he falls after. I mean, just slightly hopefully. I want him to do it, but I want it to take like two attempts. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Straight up into it and tense the body. Like really tense it. Yeah. Nice. Next go. Mm. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come <laughs> okay, one move in. I think you're gonna get it now. I think next burn is the go. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh! A thousand percent chance he's gonna do it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come here, dude. Landing soon. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Emil uh, showed me another beta when you grab the top and fit the right hand so you get a kind of a compression. Uh, it felt quite easy. <laughs> um, but of course, I done goofed up uh, because I didn't really think about the move after. <laughs> you forgot Let you had more climbing to do. Uh, yeah, oh. I forgot. It was an actual boulder, not a, not a single move. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's go at it again. Come here! Yeah, Emil is kind of done. Uh, 
I believe. <laughs> I guess I had to do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Our athlete has officially lost it mentally and uh, or I have as well. So we're, we're giving him two more attempts on the bowler. Two final attempts to try and get it done. How do you feel? Um, you secure? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, it's like the one time I actually did it, mm -hmm. it felt like nothing. But <laughs> all other times, it really feels like far away. Impossible. So yeah. it's so weird. I'm gonna give it my all and really try to focus. But uh, it's if, a challenge. Yeah, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go, but yeah. uh, give it your all. Yeah. Oh my. It works. So, what happened with these two last? Attempts? Three last attempts now. Three last attempts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, come in, come in. Okay, last attempt. We've shook on it, and this is like the final, final, final go. Yeah, the final. final. Done. That's it, folks. It's gonna be a good project for me. Um, I'm gonna send you the video of my send. Yeah, either so, on his Instagram or it'll be here in the video, probably overlaying this footage right here. Yeah, like here. Yeah. We're here. Somewhere around there, you yeah. know, perfectly framed. I guess, yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for having me. Good luck in the future. Thank you. See you soon. Oh.